The film begins by showing a father named Francois and his son named Emile, along with their dog named Albrecht, who are stuck in traffic in the middle of the city. That day, they also have an appointment with a doctor who is treating Emile's mother, named Lana. After being stuck in traffic for hours, Emile decides to get out of the car to play PlayStation with his friends. However, Francois quickly stops Emile and explains that curing Lana is more important than any other activity. At that moment, an ambulance nearby shakes violently, and a half-human, half-bird figure emerges and starts attacking the medics. The birdman then approaches Emile and Francois, but instead of attacking, it flees to the other side. Despite this bizarre event, the people there do not panic as they are accustomed to seeing humans mutate into animals. Not long after, Emile and Francois finally arrive at the hospital and meet with the doctor who is treating Lana. The doctor explains to Francois that Lana will be taken to a containment center to facilitate her treatment. It turns out that Francois's wife is one of the people infected by the mutant virus and is 70% through the process of transforming into her true mutagenic form. Knowing this, Francois and Emile then visit Lana, who is isolated in a room. At that moment, Francois asks Emile to see his mother, but Emile is traumatized because he was scratched by his mother before. Despite this, Francois continues to persuade him because, after all, she is still his mother. After gathering his courage, Emile walked toward Lana, who now had a frightening form and was about to mutate into a wolf. The next morning, Francois and Emile move to a village not far from the mutant containment center, so they can visit Lana anytime, where they live in a small house located right on the edge of the forest. The next day, Emile went to his new school, where during introductions, many students asked about Emile's background, including a student named Nina. After school, Emile stopped by his father's workplace at Paul's Cafe. There, Francois worked as a cook because his food was famously delicious. That night, the village is hit by a storm that causes a power outage at Francois's house. While Emile accompanies his father in fixing the switch, Emile suddenly sees a mutant figure, but it disappears as soon as the house lights come back on. The next morning, while Emile and Francois are cleaning the house from fallen tree branches, Francois receives news that a vehicle carrying dozens of mutants, including Lana, has had an accident on the route to the containment center. Because of this, they immediately go to the accident site, where the police find the body of one drowned mutant. Shortly after, a policewoman named Julia informs Francois that 40 mutants escaped during the accident, including Lana. Realizing his wife is on the loose, Francois returns home and hangs some clothes on tree branches to lure Lana. The next day, Emile participates in a tug-of-war competition held by the school. In the competition, Emile miraculously manages to hold off five people at once and defeats his opponents. This impresses the other students, including Victor, who then invites Emile to his party. Realizing that something strange is happening to him, Emile chooses to go home and is shocked to find small claws growing inside his fingernails. Emile then immediately pulls out the claws, but notices his backbone starting to protrude. This, of course, frightens Emile because it means he has contracted the same hybrid mutagen virus as his mother. On the other hand, Francois, who is shopping for meat at the supermarket, accidentally meets Julia, who assures him that the police will soon find Lana. At the same time, a commotion suddenly occurs in the fish market. So they rush over and find an octopus mutant stealing fish. Fortunately, Julia managed to capture the mutant, while Francois accidentally encountered the mutant pangolin child hiding under the table. However, Francois chose to remain silent so that the mutant child would not be caught by the police. The next day, Francois takes Emile to search for Lana in the forest, but Emile asks his father to search for his mother the next morning because that day he wants to go to his friend's party. Shortly after, Emile goes to his friend's birthday party. There, Emile gets heavily drunk and exhibits animalistic behavior such as licking Nina's hand. Fearing his friends might get suspicious, Emile decides to go into the forest. The next morning, Emile is confused because he miraculously wakes up by the lake. Not only that, when Emile goes to bathe at home, he finds a bird feather stuck in his mouth. This indicates that Emile had indeed hunted a bird the night before. After bathing, Emile is taken by his father to the forest along with Albert. Upon arriving, they start searching through the bushes and calling Lana's name at the edge of the swamp. They kept searching for Lana until nightfall, 
continuously playing her favorite song loudly from the car. Unfortunately, despite shouting and searching everywhere, they still couldn't find Lana. At dawn, Emil woke up to the sound of rustling grass, while Albert, curious, decided to check out the forest, followed by Emil. At that moment, Emil was suddenly attacked by the mutant bird they had encountered earlier, which had been hiding in the forest with the mutant chameleon child. As the mutant bird tried to attack Emil again, Francois quickly arrived to save him, preventing serious injury. After the attack, Francois decided to take Emil to the hospital, but Emil refused, fearing the doctor would discover his genetic mutation. Not long after, their journey is interrupted by a group of police securing the residents' horses. Julia, who happens to be there, informs Francois that a mutant had slaughtered the residents' horses the previous night. Seeing Emile's injury, Julia takes them to the officer's camp, where Emile's wound is stitched by a police officer who fortunately does not know about the genetic mutation. The next day, while Emile is attending a science class, he suddenly experiences a vision of extremely sharp hearing like a wolf. Additionally, Emile is disturbed by the sound of a beaver and unconsciously screams in the classroom. After school, Nina invited Emile to her house, but instead, he found a dead bird in the refrigerator. Seeing this, Nina explained to Emile that she loves animals and also confessed that she disagrees with the government isolating mutants in detention centers. From these explanations, Emile realized that Nina supports animal protection and began to fall in love with her. Not only that, Emile also decided to stop eating birds and preferred to hunt fish for food. After catching enough fish, Emile goes to the forest to feed the bird mutant and the chameleon mutant. At that moment, Emile also introduces himself to the bird mutant named Fix, who is practicing flying. Noticing that Fix's body is covered in injuries from hitting the ground, Emile takes Fix to the swamp and suggests practicing there because it is safer. After clearing dozens of branches from the swamp, Fix begins to practice flying. Although he fails, Fix continues to train so he can fly like a real bird. On his way home, Emile suddenly cannot pedal his bike, indicating that his leg movements no longer function like a human's. Because of this, Emile then throws his bike into the forest and chooses to walk to his father's workplace. At the same time, Francois is busy with his job as a chef. When Francois is about to take out the trash, he accidentally notices suspicious movements behind some clothes. However, before Francois can approach, a seal mutant suddenly attacks him. Fortunately, the cafe owner's wife, Mrs. Isla, stops the mutant, revealing that the mutant was once her younger brother. Unfortunately, the mutant seal then behaved aggressively, causing the visitors to run away in fear. Meanwhile, Francois chased another mutant that resembled Lana, until he stopped in the middle of the forest and saw Lana, who had now transformed into a hybrid wolf. After the commotion subsided, the police and military arrived to hunt down the mutant seal. At the same time, Francois also met Emile, who explained that his bicycle had been stolen by a thief. The next day, Emile carries out his usual activities, such as going to school and training Fix to fly. At that time, Emile also changes the bandage on Fix's previously injured face. That night, Francois and Julia went into the forest to look for Lana. While searching through the bushes, Francois accidentally found Emile's bicycle. Seeing that it was still in good condition, Francois decided to take the bicycle home. Once at home, Francois decided to wash his hands first, but he discovered that the toilet was clogged. When he opened the pipe, he was suddenly shocked to find sharp claws inside, possibly belonging to Emile. Not long after, when Emile comes home, Francois shows him the claws and forces him to pedal the bike. Hearing this, Emile refuses and runs away, but Francois immediately catches him and assures him that everything will be all right. The next morning, Francois forbade Emile from showing his genetic mutation, such as behaving like an animal. Additionally, Francois instructed Emile to regularly shave the hair growing all over his body. Sometime later, while Emile was alone at home, he was seen calling Nina and asking her to scream to test his hearing. After Nina screamed, Emile discovered that he could hear her scream even though they were several kilometers apart. The next day, Emile went to the forest to meet Fix. However, at that time, Fix could no longer speak like a human and could only make high-pitched sounds like a bird. After that, Fix climbed a tree to show Emile that he could now fly. A few days later, 
Francois was seen being scolded by Paul because Emil hadn't shown up, even though they were having a harvest festival in the village square that day. Because of this, Francois went home and found Emil still at the house. Francois then tried to force Emil to cut his nails, but Emil refused, leading to a fight between them. Despite this, Francois still loved Emil and, unable to bring himself to cut Emil's nails, ultimately let him be. At the festival, Emil met Nina, who invited him to the cornfield. When they arrived, Nina confessed that she liked Emil, leading them to share a romantic moment in the middle of the cornfield. After that, Emil was suddenly ambushed by Victor, who disliked Emil's closeness to Nina. Victor then immediately used an animal repellent device, causing Emil pain, and it was then that Victor realized Emil was a mutant. Because his secret was revealed, Emil then attacked Victor and fled into the cornfield. After the incident, Emil was chased by an armed man, as well as Francois, who was trying to save his son. During the chase, Emil is suddenly helped by Fix, who quickly kills one of the villagers. However, as Fix flies towards the forest, he is shot and falls into the bushes. At that moment, Emil tries to help him, but Fix cannot survive and dies. With the villagers getting closer, Emil decides to head towards the forest. The next morning, the government immediately sent hundreds of military personnel into the forest to hunt down Emil and the other mutants. Still terrified, Emil continued his journey deeper into the forest, occasionally diving into the river to catch fish. That night, heavy rain fell in the forest. Fortunately, Emil found a cave and slept there. In the morning, when Emil wakes up, he is startled to see his mother, who has now fully transformed into a wolf. Emil then leaves the cave and finds that this place is a hideout for hybrid mutants, such as pig mutants, snake mutants, goat mutants, and many other animals. However, soon after, the place is raided by the military, where they capture all the hybrid mutants, including Lana and Emil, but the chameleon mutant escapes thanks to its camouflage ability. On the other hand, Francois and Julia went to the police station where Emil was being held. At that time, Emil was asked to sign an agreement to be transferred to a detention center. When Emil showed aggression, Francois punched one of the officers and left the station, creating a fake release form. During their journey, Emil asked his father to visit him often at the detention center. However, Francois cried and revealed that he would not take Emil there, but instead would release him into the wild. This made Emil happy, and they shared a joyful moment reminiscing about their time with Lana. Not long after, they were chased by the police, and Francois, realizing this, quickly stepped on the gas and headed toward the forest. Once they arrived, Francois urged Emil to run as fast as he could into the forest. Hearing this, Emil ran into the forest and eventually lived freely in the wild. The film ends. Moral lesson from the story, when a birdman is attacking people and your mom is turning into a wolf, remember. Skipping doctor appointments for PlayStation isn't wise and always check for mutant feathers after a wild night out.